Well, 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 days fans, welcome back to the channel that dishes out all the dirt, drama, and delicious chaos from your favorite soap. And let me tell you, Salem is not going to calm down anytime soon. The next two weeks are going to be nothing short of explosive. As we move ahead, we will keep sharing off-screen updates of your favorite stars. So make sure you don't miss out on them. Your day's gossip queen is here with all the jaw-dropping secrets, unexpected friendships, and a whole lot of heartbreak. But before diving into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Now, ladies, pick up your wine glasses and settle down with a cheese platter because things are about to go off the rails. From Xander pulling off a dirty trick to Sarah's big move falling flat. We've got it all. Also, someone from Salem's past is going to be back. Stay with us until the end to find out. First, uh, let's talk about fake Abigail trying to get her way into Chad's good graces. Yet again, you will try to dodge Chad's plan to come clean in front of the kids by pushing for a trip to Paris. Someone not in their right mind could only say no to that. It looks like Abigail's will push for getaway with Chad making him think that jet setting across the world is going to fix all the shattered pieces of her memory. So, oh God, poor Chad. We really hope he can see the red flags instead of heading the city of love with so-called Abigail. But no worries, Chad's kids, Charlotte and Thomas, are going to throw a wrench into the work. And why, you ask? Well, Leo Stark will decide to slip up and call out Abby. Charlotte and Thomas will definitely have some major questions about their mom during the upcoming week of October 7 to 11. Everything happening in Salem turns out bigger than we expected. And with that, let's talk about the next juicy mess because Hattie Adams is about to bring on the waterworks. At the hospital, Hattie will be a mess as she prepares for her body and soul character's fatal exit. Yep, Charlemagne is supposed to meet her doom in an elevator shaft accident, but Hattie will back down with a fight. She might try every conversation and trick to weasel her way out of this death plot twist. Yeah, there is obviously someone who will take pity on her. Enter Bonnie Kiriakis, who will try to save Hattie's job, but it is not going to be easy as Abe Carver and Kate Roberts Brady are not having it. It seems like Abe and Kate have had enough of Bonnie and Hattie's drama. And they're all set to say bye-bye to Charlemagne. Let me just take a minute to talk about Bonnie and Hattie's relationship off screen. The actresses Judy Evans and Deidre Hall might be at odds in Salem, but off screen, they are the closest of friends. These two have an adorable friendship and are always sharing cute pics of their fun times together on Instagram. We would love to see the same friendship on the show as well, right? What do you think? Tell us in the comments below. And let's come back to the spoilers. Can we just talk about Leo Stark? Being in this body and soul drama, being the writer, he had to write about Charlemagne's deadly fate. And this might affect Hattie and his friendship, even though it isn't Leo's fault. But Hattie needs to blame someone, right? I mean, who needs logic when you can just point fingers? Only God knows what might happen next there. Next up, let's talk about Johnny Demera because things are heating up and it's never good. At BH Johnny will have issues with Chanel filming sizzling scenes with none other than Alex Kiriakis. Oh yes, a Johnny is not going to entertain that on-screen chemistry session and we'll sit Chanel down for an honest chat about how awkward this whole situation is making him feel. As for Chanel, she might be in a ruckus thinking this is the job she signed up for. And let's be real, she's not about to quit just because Johnny might Sure, her. The duo seems to be heading towards some marital chaos, and we are all up for it. As colorful and dramatic as Channel Soap Life is, the actress Raven Bowens screams the same energy in real life. Bowens was recently seen in a sexy yet rainbow outfit that she wore at a carnival. She also credited the amazing designer in her caption for it. We must note that just like her character on Days, Raven seems to be comfortable with making bold choices in real life, too. Back to Salem, we will see Gabby and Stefan Daimdemer having a heartfelt discussion after the end of their marriage, and we know it's going to be filled with all the feels, but EJ Demer will behave smugly and rub some salt in Stefan's wounds. It looks like AJ is living for his brother's misery, and that is how classic soap operas work. 
Brotherly love is nothing but wishing bad things for each other, I guess. Speaking of Stefan Dimera, actor Brandon Barash recently celebrated his 45th birthday last week. And the day's official page even wished the actor on his special day. And the drama will keep rolling in the upcoming week, folks. Next up, we've got Eric Brady. Yes, our dramatic hero who's about to lose it on Melinda Trask. And honestly, she's got it coming. While Eric's not holding back and Melinda's about to face his full wrath, how dramatic would it be to see Eric tossing a drink in her face just for effect? However, Melinda might bring out her puppy face and apologize for all the pain that Eric is going through, but what is a soap opera twist without an iconic blame game? Melinda might do the same and throw most of the blame on Sloan Peterson. Back to regularly scheduled chaos, and this time courtesy of Xander Kiriakis. He's about to drop some stunning news on Sarah Kiriakis. He's got the tea on Kristen Demera's wild offer, which is if Brady Black gets off the hook, Sarah could get Dr. Wilhelm Rolf's paralysis cure. Looking at the history, Sarah will obviously be skeptical about all of it, and who can blame her? So leave it to Xander to say this is an opportunity Sarah just has to take. It will get messier when EJ Demera puts the stops on Sarah's attempt to recant her statement against Brady. And why, you might ask. Regular viewers know that EJ has finally got Brady exactly where he wants him, and he's not going to let that go easily. Meanwhile, over at Oh, I Can't Anyone Tell the Truth, Dan, Kiona Cook is working up the nerve to confess that she was the hit-and-run driver. But surprise, surprise, she chickens out. Our bet is on Fiona keeping that juicy little detail to herself, at least for now. After all, it wouldn't be fun if everything gets solved quickly. Am I right, ladies? However, situations will get messier when Eric will have suspicions about Fiona being with Brady on the night of the accident and might even share his thoughts about Sarah. And as if that wasn't enough, Sander will try to dupe Kristen into handing over Rolf's miracle care. Oh, poor Xander, bless your heart. But Kristen wasn't born yesterday, and she sure isn't naive. So you might shut him down and remind him who's really holding the cards in this game. Once Kristen understands that Xander is trying to trick her, she might unleash the fury on him. So brace yourselves, everyone, because this mess is getting messier by the minute. And while discussing messy things, it will get chaotic in prison where everything is getting downright disturbing. Clyde Weston is about to make a very unsettling demand, which will shock poor Mark Green. Our sources tell us that Clyde will want Chad Demer gone for good. Yeah, you heard that right, ladies. Clyde's not just planning a little revenge. He wants Chad gone. More drama is brewing in Paris with Abigail, who's about to fake some memories and push for an ASAP wedding. Oh, God, another murder plot will take center stage when Abigail and Chad get married. And Clyde wants to take out Chad after the wedding. This will lead to Abigail getting her hands on the Demera fortune by making herself a widow. Like a decent human being. Mark will definitely object to this horrendous plan, but will he be able to get out of this mess? I guess we'll have to wait and watch. But it looks like someone is coming to look out for Chad who might help him get out of this mess. During the week of October 14 to 18, Casey Moss is making a return to Salem as J.J. Devereaux. We will see him getting into action with the woman who claims to be his sister. The little birdie tells us that J.J. will also have a shocking reaction and have a hard time believing that Abby is legit. But when has it ever been that a soap opera has not stretched a storyline? Chad and Abigail's wedding plans will start full-fledgedly, so we have to wait and see how Clyde's plot unfolds. Things for Abigail and Mark will change after Clyde's new plan of killing Chad comes to light. We are so excited to see Casey Moss back on our screen from 17th October. The actor stays active on his social media, and after his return announcement, fans rushed to his comments and expressed how eager they are to see him again. Uh, during this week, Holly will make a comeback after her trip to see Nicole Walker and find Sophia Choi in Tate Black's orbit. We know that Sophia wants to bed Tate, and she might be able to sooner than we had expected. Now that Holly and Tate are not together, it will be heartbreaking to see if he gets into the arms of Sophia so soon. But this love triangle will also lead to a catfight between Hope and Sophia. 
these ladies might go to any extent now that they are fighting over the same man. So there you have it. Plenty of twists, turns, and emotional moments to look forward to for the next two weeks. Now tell me, um, what storyline are you the most excited for? Will Alexander be able to get the miracle cure for Sarah? Will Abigail put the brakes on her plan after Clyde's shady plot comes to light? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. How are you feeling about these spoilers? I'm waiting to hear from you. Until then, here's me, your very own day's gossip queen, bidding adieu. Try not to miss me too much.